Oh, center. Total. You're zoomed in or out? I'm um, zoomed. Oh, there's another one! It's a flyby! Get it, get it, get it, get it! It's a flyby! Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just wanted to show you a few things that we ended up capturing at our UFO sighting event on August 26, 2018 in uh, Monterey Park at um, Sequoia Park. But first, I want to thank everyone for coming over to this uh, this event. Uh, we all had a great time. When it came to the UFOs, uh, we had a very, very slow start. Sometimes it happens that way. We, we don't have any control over, over this whole thing. So, uh, you know, we try our best and try to bring them in. But I think we saw our first one around 2.30 in the afternoon. I ended up missing it, but uh, I didn't wasn't able to capture it on my um, telescope because it disappeared. But uh, 20 minutes later, they all started to come in. So I think altogether we saw probably about maybe 10 or 12. One thing you have to know about these events is that uh, sometimes the UFOs are waiting for us right when we get there. It's, it's really an amazing uh, thing that happens. But um, sometimes we have to kind of wait around and it almost seems like the longer we wait, uh, the better the stuff ends up showing up. So anyway, just try to keep that in mind and sometimes they don't show up within the first hour or two so you just have to be patient i want to thank fausto perez for hosting this event i want to thank uh shelly and yasmin for uh getting up in front of people and you know kind of telling us how they end up uh communicating with ufos so let me get to this first one um i'll tell you one of my favorite things to capture is the flyby and one of the reasons why I love the flyby is because, well, you can't fake it. It's it's what it is. It's something extraordinary. It's something that you cannot mechanically duplicate. Not when it's a mile up in the sky. There's really nothing a debunker can say about a flyby. So I just want to give you a fair warning. You're going to hear some shouting, and it's me. I don't see flybys every day, and chances are you don't either. So when I see a flyby, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that I want to have multiple eyewitnesses viewing this thing. Now, I want to give props to Jim Martin, who is a fantastic UFO communicator, and uh, he's, he's a better videographer and photographer than I am. And he caught this thing perfect. It was just so fantastic. And I want to thank him for allowing me to use some of his footage here. I think every video of the same subject can tell a different story. Anyway, we see this one object that kind of looks like a mylar balloon with either a short tether or no tether at all, which is suspicious right off the bat. I've discovered that since I've been doing this so long that unless you see it leaving the ground, you should videotape, examine, and scrutinize all balloon looking objects. If this object is a mylar balloon, it's what I call a leader. A leader is something that captures your attention. Once your attention is drawn and you're videotaping, this is when the object that you're supposed to see pops out. So let me just play the clip live. What happened to the one that was there? Oh no, you're coming. Oh my god. That's what I just said. <laughs> Come on, stop my and now my footage, but please keep in mind that uh, half of what I'm yelling is out of excitement because I love the flyby, and the other half is uh, to let people see what a UFO looks like as it, as it shoots uh, across the sky. I don't want to be accused of keeping silent on a once in a lifetime situation. I want people to see UFOs with their own eyes. Oh, center. Total. You're zoomed in or out? I'm um, zoomed. Oh, there's another one. It's a flyby. Get it, get it, get it, get it. It's a flyby. I'm going to zoom in on flyby. I mean, there's a flyby. You're zoomed in. Okay, here's a flyby. This is the one that's This is the one that's shooting by. Wow, do you see it? Center, yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one's center. totally moving fast. Center, center. This one's totally moving fast, you guys. Center. Whoa, this one's shooting totally fast. Center. This center. is a this is a flyby, you guys. Do you, you want to zoom out? This is a flyby. 
So the way that I'm hooked up is that I have a Mead ETX90 telescope, which is hooked up to my Sony A6000 mirrorless camera. The camera is hooked up to a 27 inch high definition television so that people could see what I capture. If people cannot see it live in the sky, they can see it live in my monitor. Either way, they're blown away. Here's what's interesting about this capture, and I've seen it many times before, and I will show you another video in the description, uh, there'll be a link to it. What you just witnessed was not naturally occurring. This was not a baseball nor a bird. I measured it and it was moving about 34 feet per second or about 35 miles an hour. There was next to no wind this day. Inanimate objects simply don't move this way at these speeds. You have to believe your eyes. We chose a place, date, and time. We brought our video equipment to capture UFOs and called for them to come to our location and they showed up. There are no coincidences here and please don't let anyone try to misdirect you. Any ridiculous hypothetical explanations they spew couldn't duplicate what they saw in this video. Simply ask them to duplicate what they saw a mile up in the sky. I know people aren't going to be happy with what I'm going to say about what the flyby was. I zoomed in on it in order to discover its mode of propulsion. Was it flapping like a bird or undulating like a jellyfish like a biological entity or was it moving like a plane as in something mechanical? I was expecting an orb, something perfectly round, but this is what I saw. It was something that looked like a balloon which now makes perfect sense to me. Take a close look at it, it's actually turning upside down and rolling around. There is no mode of propulsion that we see. Sometimes we see at our UFO sighting events about 60 objects and there's a portion of these objects that look like balloons. Now if we were anonymously observed by aliens millions of years in our advance, could this advanced race of aliens conceive and possibly construct an object that could fake out the smartest people on this planet? Do you think that they could build something that even if we saw it doing something impossible before our eyes, we still wouldn't believe it? Bottom line, here's what we have to take away from this. Number one, you'll have to accept that UFOs may look different from what you expect. Number two, you have to come to the realization that you were taught incorrectly. Flying saucers can be UFOs, but not all UFOs look like flying saucers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please come to our next UFO sighting event and meet some of the best UFO communicators in the world. Please go to LAUFO channel on meetup.com and sign up. It's free. I'll see you next time and I'll see you there. Yeah.